What's up everyone, I'm Amy Johnston and welcome to my new series, Martial Arts History. I'm an actress, stuntwoman, and lifelong martial artist, and I love everything action and martial arts related, so I'll be dedicating a specific martial art to each episode, and I will be going in depth into the history of that martial art. The martial art for today's episode is karate. So karate means empty hand, karate do meaning the way of the empty hand, kara meaning empty, tei meaning hand, and do meaning way, the way of the empty hand. So karate is a form of martial arts that originated in Japan and is actually one of the most widely practiced forms of fighting in the world. Karate is an unarmed martial arts form that uses kicking, striking, and defensive stances using the arms and the legs. Students of karate are called karatikas. They practice hard and are able to reach different levels of mastering the form. The skill levels are determined through the color of the belt that the students wear, which typically in increasing order of skills are white belt, yellow, orange, green, blue, brown, and black. And typically there's 10 degrees of black belt. And even though there's no record of exactly where karate originated from, its occurrence was first noted in the Okinawan lands. In its early time, it was heavily influenced by Kung Fu. The reason not much written evidence exists regarding karate in its early times is because Japanese soldiers had actually banned the practice among civilians. However, at the start of the 20th century, karate actually started to be taught in schools. The art was brought to Japan by Sensei Gichin Funakashi, who made many changes to the form and was very instrumental in forming the Japanese Karate Association. The formation of JKA also spread the word of karate as they sent teachers internationally to teach it. Fortunately today, karate schools exist in all countries, so millions of people are able to practice the form of karate. If the philosophical aspects of karate are focused, it typically addresses emotions, physical strength, respecting one another, and being humble. Funakashi believed that karate, with all its physically strengthening lessons, could actually help an individual find mental strength and humble oneself. This helps improve one's skills as an individual may then be able to receive criticism and work on his or her faults. Many karate masters have learned the techniques of the fighting form and then later went on to teach it. However, some of them will never be known as they only taught in secrecy. Takahara Pichin was one of the most famous students of Tode Sakugawa, who was also known as the father of Okinawan karate. Other karate masters also include Soken Bushi Matsumura, who was one of the early teachers of Gichin, who was also trained by Yasutsune Azato. Gichin Funakashi was born frail, according to his words, and started karate in an attempt to improve his health. By the 1920s, Gichin had introduced karate into Japanese universities as part of the curriculum that also played a huge part in spreading karate to a larger audience. More recently, Sensei Hidetaka Nishiyama, who trained under Gichin, eventually became a member of the board of directors of the JKA, and also authored one of the most popular books about Shotokan karate called Karate, the Art of Empty Hand Fighting. Other masters have also had a great impact on the world of karate, such as Sensei Taiji Kase, Sensei Teruyuki Okazaki, and Shihan Hirokazu Kanazawa, who is the only living master to still hold the rank of 10th Don. Karate's had its influence in so many TV shows and movies throughout time. The Karate Kid in 1984, The Karate Kid Part 2 in 86, those were huge films that primarily brought karate to the big screen. Then of course there's Jackie Chan, who still to this day is practicing karate amongst many other martial martial arts and has always brought his martial arts to the big screen. Other films like Kill Bill, which is still one of my favorite films to this day. I absolutely love Quentin Tarantino as a director and that film was just absolutely awesome. That portrayed a lot of karate as well as Karate Kid in 2010. So karate is around everywhere. It's been in films and TV shows for years and it's not going anywhere. There are a ton of books on karate teaching some of the techniques and history of the martial art, such as the 20 guiding principles of karate, karate do, my way of life, and many more. Karate clearly involves a lot of techniques and clear understanding of the fighting form, which is why it requires an average of five years to earn a black belt. The techniques include stances, aka dachi, that include 
natural, straddle, forward, and back stance, punching techniques known as suki include rising, middle, downward, lunge, reverse, U punch, and spear hand thrust punch. The striking techniques include back fist, bottom fist, knife hand, and elbow strike. Upper rising, middle outside, middle inside, knife hand, and downward blocks are some of the types of blocking techniques. And finally, the kicking techniques involve front, roundhouse, back, side, thrust, and snap. There are so many other karate techniques, but those are some of the basic and most commonly used. Now, from school to school, the names often change, so there can be one technique with several different names. It's not uncommon. Karate, despite being a form of exercise for the body, also aims to strengthen the character and mental strength of those who practice it. The strength and discipline and patience required to practice karate can prepare one for almost every obstacle in life as your concentration and focus gets a lot better as well. Once the practitioner has made a commitment to include these values as a daily part of their life, it will lead to an inevitable improvement in one's character. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I know it was a lot of information, but I hope that you learned something. Stay tuned to next week's episode for a different style of martial arts. Thanks so much for watching Martial Arts History, and I'll see you next week.